Good evening. The army has been drafted in to help tonight as Gatwick Airport remains closed almost 24 hours after an unprecedented drone attack. Flights are not expected to resume until 7 o'clock tonight at the very earliest, causing chaos for more than 100,000 passengers at one of the busiest times of the year. There is a huge manhunt underway right now to find those responsible. Police say it is a deliberate attempt to cause disruption, but they've ruled out terrorism. And all the while, there is a growing number of passengers facing a ruined Christmas. In the first of our reports is Dan Rivers on the delays and the disappointment. A Christmas getaway brought to a standstill. Britain's second largest airport was in chaos today as 110,000 people were unable to board their flights after drones were spotted flying over the runway. Many were forced to queue or wait on planes for hours with holiday plans ruined. That's a suitcase full of presents from my kids that I wanted to take to them. And my girl is three years old. She's been waiting at the window since three o'clock this morning for me. And now she's not going to get to see me for a couple more days. Jackie Palmer was supposed to be taking her grandchildren on a surprise trip to see Santa in Lapland. Oh year we booked this up. Surprise Christmas for all the grandchildren. And this has happened. Yeah, I think it's disgusting if ever he catch the people they need hanging. For thousands of families here, Christmas is effectively cancelled. There's, there's people crying in there, there's people laying uh, down, uh, sleeping, kids crying, people shouting. They don't, they don't, ha they don't know where the uh, flights are going to start uh, going again. They don't know anything. And you're trying to get back for Christmas? Yes. Yeah. 760 flights were due to take off today, but at gate after gate it was the same story. Planes grounded and a runway where the only aircraft moving was a police helicopter. There has been a huge amount of disruption to those passengers. The, the reality is these people wanted to go away on their Christmas holidays and, um, and I just feel hugely disappointed that this act of, this deliberate act by an individual, this crime has impacted such a huge number of people. This mobile phone footage purportedly shows the drone flying above Gatwick this afternoon. He's coming over your head. Over your head. Police snipers and dozens of officers were deployed to try and spot where the drone was being operated from. Terrorism has been ruled out, but the army is now being called in to assist the police. Yes, there is a lot of disruption, but I think we have to bear in mind that this is about public safety, and public safety has to be the most important thing here. Tomorrow is due to be even busier at Gatwick, but the knock-on effect of today's disruption may take days to fully clear. Dan Rivers, ITV News, Gatwick Airport. And that disruption he described at Gatwick is having knock-on effects right across the UK and Europe. Many flights have had to be diverted to other airports, some of them hundreds of miles away. And the government has lifted night flight restrictions on other airports to help clear the backlog. Neil Connery reports on the impact. London's Gatwick Airport brought to a halt because of, get this, drone sightings. The fallout from Gatwick Airport's closure at one of the busiest times of the year is being felt far and wide. In Paris, those unable to fly to Gatwick, including those with babies, were stuck with nowhere to go. They gave us a room with three single beds, four of us. So, and when I asked about nappies, um, they said they just shrugged their shoulders and said there's nothing we can do. It's just me, you know, I'll be okay, but it's more having a one-year-old and that's, you know, the stress, I think. Thousands of passengers who couldn't land at Gatwick were diverted to other UK airports, including Glasgow. I flew in from Canada and uh, obviously with the issues that happened at Gatwick, uh, they recircled for around an hour or so until they figured out which way we were going. Then they, then they managed to find Glasgow. I should be home right now having a nice hot toddy, but instead I'm here in a line waiting and I don't know what and they didn't know any information. And whoever this person is, I hope to get caught and I hope to get to five years. Some passengers diverted to Birmingham were stuck on board their plane for almost eight hours after landing. There were a lot of women uh, with babies who were struggling a lot more than we were, uh, trying to feed the children. The lady in front of me ran out of milk. She was getting a bit 
flustered with that and people sleeping on the floors of the plane. The government has announced restrictions on night flights to other London airports have been lifted. One of the things that we're going to be doing is temporarily, and I emphasise temporarily, lifting the night flight restrictions at other airports so more planes can get into and out of the country. Apologies to the residents affected, but it's right and proper we try and sort people's Christmases out. Passengers diverted to Cardiff still had long journeys ahead, but at least they were getting somewhere. Neil Connery, ITV News.